My name is Malcolm Bevel, and I'm an assistant professor with the Cancer Prevention and Control and Population Health Program here at the Georgia Cancer Center at Augusta University. I've lived in these areas for a good portion of my life, pretty much half of my life, and I've noticed different residents when I was involved with research during my master's program and my PhD, them literally having to choose what kind of food that they could eat or could afford to eat. And it really is due to the built environment as well as other socio-political issues as to why food swamps exist. I wanted to see what was going on with our food environment here in America. The grant has allowed me to progress in the studies uh, by helping us obtain uh, not only publicly available data, but also uh, publish a very novel topic regarding the association between food deserts, food swamps, and obesity-related cancer mortality in the United States over the last 10 years. What we were able to find was after we created a scoring system to designate what food swamps are, which are you live more than one mile from a grocery store in an urban area and you have more pro-inflammatory unhealthy food options. Once we created that scoring system, what we found is among the majority of U.S. counties that scored the poorest within our scoring system, there was a 77% increased odds of having high obesity-related cancer mortality rates. So these counties were at a higher odds or a chance of having high obesity-related cancer deaths. And at the county level, that tells a story because we're wondering what's going on with the built environment within these counties. So then the next natural question is, so then what does that mean for residents in Richmond County, Columbia County, and the surrounding CSRA? I've done some qualitative interviews with members of the community. There's buy-in for people to want to improve the, the food environment. And so it's just quite frankly a blessing to be able to do this work, to be able to tell the truth about what's going on in America. Uh, that food swamps are a detriment, that there's a rising epidemic of food swamps. Uh, we hypothesize that it's due to certain aspects such as gentrification, redlining, as well as some other things like competition with mom and pop shops and chain grocery stores. Again, this allows us to tell a story that residents and other people have been trying to t t tell for decades, maybe even centuries, and now we can now put a, a name to the face of what it is and what's going on with the food environment. I'm thankful for Paceline and, and, and we're going to continue to keep doing this work uh, and so we can also bring community gardens to the people of Augusta and beyond.